here it is, my dear friends. Bugger Salt 2.0. This was inspired by Stephanie of Skip and Steph uh, channel, uh, who had this marvelous way of disposing of uh, super huge flies. And I could get one in Switzerland. Can you believe that already? Uh, and this is the Bugger Salt version, which is uh, designed for big critters in the garden as well. And it's arrived, you know. So this has no batteries, you know, no explosives. It's just salt and compressed air. And uh, actually, it says for adults only. So I was going to give this to my little nephew, but actually maybe I won't. One pump and it's over. <laughs> it's, they've got a lot of sense of humour to come up with something like this. So use ordinary table salt. It does 50 shots uh, in a filling. You blast them in mid-air or uh, outdoors and... Uh, uh, they might splatter a, a, about a bit. It's non-toxic. Well, you know, only small amounts of salt. And this is the larger load for outdoor use. Love it. Love it. And they give you this, which tells you at two foot distance, you'll blast them to hell. Unforgiving. Pretty deadly at... Uh, two and a half foot and three foot you have to be accurate you know to get them uh, and shake before <laughs> shake before shooting oh I love it and they give you these little stickers as well which is great you know put a warning on your on your windows to say you know bugs will not be tolerated and uh, they give you all the other sort of info on the back so just tells you how to fill it and pump it with the, uh, you know, that little charging handle here. And it's even got a safety. Can you believe it? It's even got a safety. Accurate to three foot. Never leave the gun in a cock position. Okay. So it tells you more or less you treat this like a firearm, but it isn't, isn't one, you know. Everyone's talking about all these other models that have come out, you know, from Ruger and others, uh, which are really great, but they should be talking about this, you know. This could be the end of giant flies and, uh, you know, hornets and all of those creatures. So it tells you a bit about fly facts here. 120,000 species all over the world. Uh and they defecate every four to five minutes. I didn't know that. And uh, I didn't know that, that flies actually only migrate one or two miles from where they're born. So they stay local. So once you get them down locally, I guess you'll have a, a cleaner house. So just more instructions there, but mostly what we've heard and a warning, bug assault. Do not point at anyone, of course, not any human, and particularly take care that's never pointed at somebody and, and towards their face or something like that. Adults only 18 or older. Well, this is the most amazing thing, isn't it? Well, so on the gun itself, you see this sticker here saying, you know, treat as a loaded firearm at all times, you know. So this is really telling the bugs we mean business. I'm going to charge it up and uh, test its accuracy. Let's have a look. Well, hello, my dear friends. I'm here in the garden smoking a country gentleman corn cob with six millimeter filter, Savinelli filter. This is actually a tamper I didn't mention in my last video, which is, uh, I found this bit of stick and I thought, I bet that will fit right into a, a 
44 caliber shell and it did so I just stuck it in and uh, cleaned it up a bit and put some carnauba wax over it and this is uh, yet another of my uh, you know cartridge tampers can't have enough of them a bit rustic but there you go Smoking um, still my LJ Peretti Black Virginia, which is just lovely. This funny shining orb has appeared in the sky and I realize actually it's the sun. It's, uh, we haven't seen it for like three months. So, and the rain has gone away and things are starting to dry out. God be thanked. Anyway, today, as you have seen, I've increased my armory with uh, a rather unusual type of uh, pistol. I guess you call it pistol because there's no arm stock on it. And this requires only salt, table salt as ammunition. You see this little uh, viewing thing here? I've put some in. And I'm now going to try it on this target. Right, I've just uh, put some Pritt glue on top of those flies, the blue flies in the middle of the uh, targets. And let's have another go. Starting at one meter or 36 inches, roughly the same as the yard. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeedy. You see it? There's the salt. Try and adjust the, the light here a bit. But you can see the salt has, has hit that. Actually, a lot of it on that lower target and just a tiny sprinkle above the, the upper target but actually fairly compact so that would definitely have wiped it out and I was just using the sights it's pretty pretty accurate actually at a yard yeah you, you could see the uh, you can see the paper go in and uh, might you know certainly it would injure it so you would probably disable it and get it on the second shot easy but I would say you could certainly at two meters disable a fly and deal with it however you want after that and one meter it's I think pretty easy to take it out um, depending on the size of the bug but um, impressive safety features so you must move the handle forward after charging it and you always have to take the safety off that's automatic safety so uh, you always have to push it forward to take it off but it's actually an amazing amazing thing great fun and you don't even have to go to the uh, shooting range to try it out you just go into the garden <laughs> great stuff so you see a, a nice uh, gob of uh, quince jam which I personally hate so I've sacrificed that as the bait and we shall see if somebody comes along you know what I realize that flies don't like uh, quince jelly either but you imagine that blob is a nice succulent giant fat ugly horse fly and uh, let's see what happens to it well I think you can see the splatter of the salt and um, a little bit of splatter of uh, jelly there. 
I've actually worked out how this works. They basically are using the salt projectiles just to take the wings off and basically they'll fall to the ground and if they don't expire directly they'll do it shortly after so it's ma mainly aimed at that because I've been doing some tests on leaves for example and the salt projectile I guess you would call this like a half millimeter caliber of of salt particles um, it doesn't really damage a thick leaf for example let's let's have a look over here let's take that one here so this one I'm going to aim at charge it take the safety off and the slider is forward and I'll go to really close range huh? let's say about six inches here You see, there's the salt and it's probably quite an impact, but it doesn't actually break through the leaf. Well, you just see there, I went to about two inches and then it will penetrate this leaf tissue. Let me just show you again. So that's maybe about two inches, something like that. And you see here, there's a, a little hole, not much. So you have to go to pretty well a point blank range to do any damage. So I think, uh, you know, they're a bit of fun more than anything, of course they are, you know, and uh, I will uh, enjoy it on the balcony or in the garden. It does give you the advantage of uh, maybe having a meter distance because if you try to get at one of the insects with this, you have to get much closer and that spooks them and they fly off. With this, you can get them at a distance that they probably won't fly off. But there's all the salt and stuff to sweep up, so uh, outside or the balcony. And at the moment, they're quite expensive. Um, you know, I don't know, in America, you probably get them for $50, and here they're more like 80 or 90 something like that. But it's a kind of an interesting idea and concept, I thought, you know, because there's, there's, since these came out, these were the revolution about killing flies in your house rather than squashing the bloody things or using, uh, you know, uh, nerve gas canisters or insecticides which of course it gets all over the air and these I found very clean and, and uh, you know effective and I've had this one probably about seven eight years or something like that but if you like uh, pistols and, and shooting and target shooting this might uh, you know be a bit of fun so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, frivolity on my part. I will do some real pistol reviews uh, in the next month or so. I need to get some time at the range and they were closed for a holiday break just when COVID sort of is over and I've got my vaccinations I could go and then they closed for holiday. So it's been a long time and I need to get my practice and uh, check out all my various pistols so I'll be doing quite a round of that in the second half of this year and um, won't have to play with bug assault pistols like this <laughs> okay you all take care everyone look after yourselves and bye bye